welcome to the MBS show episode number 304. I am your host, Norman Senzo. Joining me today is Twilight Genesis. G'day, Norman. How are you doing, man? Uh, not too bad. A little tired, but that's part of the course. Mm, true, true. I am not feeling too hot too. A bit tired myself. Uh, I don't know what's happening with my body. Oh god, no. But enough about our old ageness and illness, whatever it is. Let's head into the news. And right off, we have a very interesting one. I, I think this one is dumb. <laughs> so, it seems that Australia has officially released the My Little Pony movie in DVD. So, yay, that's good. The only problem is there's a bit of a typo. Eh? Yeah, I've seen the pictures. Typo on the spine of the cases. Yep, it says My Lit Pony. <laughs> Well, technically, it's still little. It's just a little bit of little. <laughs> yeah, they missed one more T there. Took me a while to figure it out, but yeah. Yeah, I didn't notice the typo when I first saw a picture of someone saying, there's a typo in the case. I was like, what typo? And then I realized that when you showed me the uh, article on EQD, I was like, oh, well then. Well then, yeah. I wonder if they're going to send out replacements. Um, they might fix it in if they make more batches of the DVD, but I don't think they'll replace any of the ones that are already pushed out because it's just be like, why bother? I don't know. I, I remember Okami Wii console had a major, major typo or major, major derp on the cover, and the art that they used for Okami had IGN. Uh, watermark on it <laughs> and it's like what and I think Capcom did mention that hey uh, if you guys want a replacement cover just email us your whatever it is and we'll send it for free I'm not sure about this one but it'll be nice if they did it would be nice but I don't think they will it's too small of a typo mm, true true uh, but still uh, what can we do right I mean it'll be a collector's item it'll be Interesting and derp, so yay. But anywho, let's head on into the next news. Next news is Them Fighting Hurts is available on Steam. Yes, Them Fighting Hurts, the um, predecessor or the spiritual successor to Fighting as Magic, is available now on Steam on Steam Green Light or Steam Early Access. The downside about this one is there won't be any story mode for now. Uh, because from what I read, the person in charge of the story mode thingy is not available to do the fixes. So rather than let us wait for the game to release, they figure out, hey, um, the fighting is stable, the GGPO is stable. So let's just put that one out first. And yeah, um, having fighting without any full context is a bit confusing, but hey, it's available there. Have you played this yet, Toy? No, I haven't. I've got quite a few friends who have played it. Uh, they've been playing it in the beta for quite a while before we even went on early access. Mm. But I haven't got my hands on it yet. I, I think a friend of mine might be considering buying it for me because he did say, ask me if I wanted to play it earlier tonight, but... Uh, he might have just meant I go to his place to play it. Uh, well, there is local LAN mode. So that's also one of the modes that they're um, introducing. I played it a bit and uh, I, it's, it's really early. Like, there's a few art assets that's missing. Um, voices do not sync to lip flaps and whatever. But the core gameplay, it's pretty solid. It's a four-button fighter in the vein of Marvel. So, yeah, it's really fun too. I might have to check it out then. I don't normally play fighters, but it is a long-running fandom project, so I might might give it a shot just for that. Yep. And like I mentioned last week, Twilight Sparkle, I mean, um, Terra Strong is in the game, and she plays Arizona, the uh, cow character. And if you remember, the cow character was Applejack. So hearing Tara Strong talking in a sudden twang is kind of funny. I had totally forgotten uh, 
if Tara is actually voicing any of the characters. And then when I saw the other day the lineup of who was voicing who, I was like, that's not what I expected. <laughs> I know. Tara's voicing the, the, the southern gal, uh, southern country gal character. I was like, all right, that, that's something I might have to YouTube later and see how that sounds. Oh, it's really interesting too. And talking about interesting, um, one of my favorite Let's Players on the YouTube space recently played the game, and that is the Super Best Friend channel on YouTube. Uh, they have this side program that they call Friday Night Fisticuffs, and I think one of them, Wooly, is a backer of the game. Because uh, near the end, when they started the game or whatever it is, I saw that he had a backer flag. So that is interesting. And you know how some YouTubers are when you see them playing this kind of things. And, uh, they're thinking like, oh, this, uh, this kind of things are stupid. So let's give it a shot. Maybe we'll get dumb YouTube money. But putting it on Friday Night Fisticuffs, which is their quote unquote good fighting game section of their channel, is pretty surprising. And they really had fun. They acknowledge that the game is early. But they enjoyed the game. It's good for me they're enjoying it then. Yep. But still, <clears throat> can't wait to see them uh, retry the game when the game is fully uh, finished. As for now, it's still in green light or early access. So the game has a few bugs that need to be fixed. Um, some mechanics that need to be redone because Arizona's lasso is pointless. It's hard to combo in. I tried, and it's really hard. Uh, but still, moving on to the next news and hoping for things to get done, the recent My Little Pony Equestria Girl special came out, um, Forgotten Friendship. There's a character in there named Wallflower something, I forgot. What is her name? Wallflower, I do remember that. I think Wallflower is her name. I think it's two two different words, Wall and Flower. Uh, nah, I, Wallflower is one word, I do remember that. But I forgot her other name. But you know what? Uh, if I don't remember it, that means you guys can do go home and research it. So yay. But anywho, um, Wallflower had a song in her part. Like any other My Little Pony movie, there's going to be songs. But in the show, we got a short version of the song. Um, <clears throat> apparently, there's a full song out there. And hey, who knows? Maybe that will be in the YouTubes. Remember, last I mentioned this, that YouTube is going to have a 50-minute version of this? So yeah, probably it'll be in there. So yay, that is something to be looking forward to. Yay. Yeah, that would be very interesting to see if they put out the full-length version. I expect that they will. It's either that or they'll save it for an OST, because I'm fully expecting them to make another Quest Your Girls movie. And if they do, that means there's another soundtrack to buy, and they'll likely have it on that. Yeah, I, I can't. I, I can't wait, but... In all honesty, there's uh, there's one song that you mentioned that was not on the CD or the soundtrack. And there's a lot of newer songs that just came out. And those things are not on soundtrack yet. So I'm waiting for it, man. I, I'm really waiting for it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they release a soundtrack that's just all of the songs that aren't in the movies. Or the shorts or whatever it is. And including whatever is coming out. So, yeah. We'll make money, man. Like, this I'll, I'll reminds me, I really need to watch the special. I have yet to watch it. I'm failing as an Equestria Girls fan. Oh, you're busy, man. I don't blame you. I'm not busy enough. I, I probably could have watched it, but I Doctor Who kind of took my attention away for a while. Is the new Doctor out? I, I believe they started airing the new Doctor's uh, first season. But I've been watching through Netflix, and Australian Netflix only goes up to Capaldi's second season, so oh. I don't know when I'll be able to catch up to whatever they've gotten up to now. Oh, okay, because right now I'm just waiting on the newest Doctor, the female Doctor. So that's going to be interesting to see. So, anywho, that's the news for this week. 
So let's jump into what we have been doing with our week. So Twy, you up first, man? Uh, well, this week, predominantly, I've been jumping between watching Doctor Who, uh, getting back into playing Fortnite, and uh, mostly a lot of PUBG. Uh, really, really badly done PUBG, but PUBG nonetheless. All right. Seems like you're having a lot of fun. And this PUBG thing, it seems like it's super popular. Oh, yeah, it's very popular. Uh, Surprisingly so. Are you having a lot of fun? Like, does the popularity warrant it? I would say, yeah. People who enjoy quick, random match games uh, would like this. It's... I, I guess it's got a bit of a mix between the popularity of first and third person shooters mixed in with a bit of what makes MOBAs popular, where it's meant to be a short uh, combat driven uh, battle where you get stuff to make yourself better or better arm yourself and then fight each other. Except you generally run around half the time trying to find people to fight and they get sniped by someone who came up on your side. So it has its moments where it feels a lot of fun, and it has its moments where it's like, well, that was 10 minutes down the drain, and all I got was like maybe a few rounds off at somebody that may have been a bush <laughs> before someone I didn't see came up and got me. All uh, right. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I, it, it can be. I, I think it's more fun when you play in groups. Because then you you have something to someone to laugh with when you when something goes horribly wrong, like we were uh, me and my squad we were driving around in the uh, the four by four the truck, uh-huh. and we were in first person view. So when you're in the if you're not driving, you're just sort of trying not to get sick by watching everything go past the windows. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then we hit something. We don't know what we hit. But we started tumbling sideways <laughs> down the hill <laughs> in first person view. So we're all very <laughs> disorientated and caught off by surprise. We landed right way up and continued going. <laughs> but we, we lost it. We didn't know what happened. We were like, well, that's a roller coaster for the weekend. Oh, God. All right. Oh, wow. And it's early access, right? Um, actually, no. Uh, as of, I'm pretty sure last month. It came out officially. Ah. It's it's not early access anymore. Oh, that's cool. Actually, I can check right now. It came out, yeah, no, as of December twenty first. So as of at the end of last year, it's it came out as a one point version. Oh, okay. That's Although cool. it does not feel like a one point it still has a lot of issues, <laughs> like any other game. Yeah. And as for me, with my week, huh, let's see. I didn't really do much, but I've recently bought Dragon Ball Fighters Z, and that game is fun. I can see why that game is at Evo now. That's the new one, isn't it? Yes, the new one that's made by Arc System Works. And I can understand why people are enjoying it. The art is awesome, the fighting style is good to and it's stupid simple like the only things that you need to remember is quarter circle forward quarter circle back that's all and if you're too lazy to remember any combos pressing the square 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 does any combo pressing the triangle 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 does do any combo so it's simple to get in and i would say that it's simple to play but hard to master so that's one thing there The other is that this game, without playing online, without going matches online, has a robust story mode. Like, I'm playing the story mode and I'm on chapter 5, and it tells me that I'm only 13% done. Like, wow, how much content do I need to do? Yeah, 5 chapters in is normally at least a good third of the way through most of the games. That's Either they've got a lot of side things uh, based on choices or whatever, or like your Blaz Blue did in the original game, where certain fights you could lose to progress the storyline in a different way. 
this doesn't feel that way. But there is, I wouldn't say there's multiple branches. There's this thing where, okay, you fight this thing to progress the story. If not, you can fight other things to gain levels and maybe do something. That might be it, where some of the progression comes from doing some of the, the side fights that doesn't that don't necessarily progress a story. Because then it goes, oh, you've now done this. Take your box. Here's some more percentage complete. Probably. But hey, it's a really fun game. And I, I can see why that a lot of people are liking this one bet, uh, rather than Marvel Infinite. And uh, as much as I want to love Marvel Infinite, I had a good talk to a friend yesterday about the game. And he said that the game is too easy. It's too casual. And the character roster is not fun. Ah, can't blame him. I don't really play fighters, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't have anything to to know about if it was fun or not. But I've never looked like the looks of any Marvel fighting game. Really? Not even two or three? No, not really. Oh. And I just superhero fighting games always just seem really dull and generic. Really? No. I mean, we have comics and cartoons and movies of watching these guys beat each other up, and now it's like, now you play a video game where they beat each other up. I'm like, kind of more of the same, isn't it? Mm, okay, I mean, I, I can say much because it's preferences, but that's a very interesting way to look at it. I'd rather get an interesting game with new lore and characters. Like, oh, what is it? I was telling someone else about it earlier. We're getting a new one this year, I think. Um, Soul Calibur. Oh yeah, Soul Calibur 6. That's going to be fun. I can't wait. It's going to be great. Apparently it uses a new system that the latest Tekken game also uses. That'll be interesting to see. Hey, what about Dragon Ball? Big fan of it? No, not really. Oh, okay. That's surprising. Nah, D- Dragon Ball is one of those things where it's so mainstream and normalized that it comes off as just sort of meh. It's there, and a lot of people enjoy it, but I it, there isn't any charm left in it for me after all this time. It doesn't help that I have a, a friend who is a massive fanboy, and it's one of the few topics he constantly talks about, uh, and that can make anything really dull really quickly. Yeah, I understand that one. Yeah, I, I know a few people that turn me off to stuff because they keep talking about it yeah so well can help can be help can be help but hey uh that's my week been playing a lot of dragon balls we need to play pd man like what the hell kenny was saying the same thing earlier actually he was like whatever happened to playing payday with norman and i'm like i don't know <laughs> <laughs> oh god I-, I don't know why but pd doesn't seem to strike me as interesting anymore is it me no I, I think at this point like even when they we i think we're getting that japanese hacker girl character sometime soon what? joy or whatever this there's a new yeah, character so we're getting another yeah we're getting another heister and we'll probably get like sometime in the next few months we'll probably get another heist or two i think at this point it's like it doesn't matter what new heisters or heists they put out there's so much content in that game already, and we've played it to death, that it's at a point where it's like, you only really play the new heist once or twice over to be like, all right, so that's what that is. Mm. And then you you don't touch it again, because it, it's a bit dull after so many years. They really need to make Payday 3, mm. so that they can actually add new gameplay mechanics and new things they maybe make a more intricate stealth system so we have something new to mess with as opposed to all the same stuff we're messed with for all these years but in a slightly different place (laughs) all right i can see that i can see that and yeah i agree with that i agree with that it's one of those difficult things to do at the same time too I, i don't know man like, I want to enjoy payday, but at the same time, too, that I'm getting fatigue. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Fatigue from playing payday. Yeah, I only really enjoy it when I'm playing with people and we sort of half mess around. 
and we do silly things like everyone goes rocket launchers and flamethrowers because why not? Yeah. Oh, talking about that, I, the new setup right now I'm I'm really enjoying is the minigun. Uh, the minigun setup is fun. <laughs> I still don't have a minigun. I don't know why I haven't bothered to buy it. I, I, I could easily buy it, but I just, I, it doesn't seem like fun to me. I guess everyone else uses it so much that I'm just sort of like, the novelty of it is a worn off and I haven't even touched it yet. Uh, I, I don't know why, but uh, recently with the new patch updates and whatnot, the minigun has a huge pickup ammo rate. So, like, yeah, go for it. Definitely, definitely have to try it out sometime soon. And it makes the minigun viable, so yay! <laughs> That'll be my main thing if I want to go loud. I, I still default to usually my golden AK and uh, a shotgun or a uh, SMG mm. for my secondaries. Yeah, I usually use the Jackal or... I forget what the other SMG that I use Krin- is. Krinkoff? I only use it because I got a skin with it. Oh, then I got no idea. The Krinkoff seems to be a really popular one. Might be the Krinkoff? I'm, I can't remember its name. I really don't. I've used it almost exclusively for like half a year and I don't know its name. <laughs> you haven't been playing so long that you forget your favorite gun. Oh god, no. But anywho, if you guys at home... Uh, have any questions or concerns or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at animationshow.gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Twy, where can the good people find you, man? They can find me on Film Fiction and DeviantArt under Twilight Genesis. Alrighty then. Yeah, only two things this week. Everything else is is currently shut down. Oh no. Why? No, I wasn't really doing much with it, uh, and decided for now I'll I'll just shut it down, oh. and see if I pick it up later or not. All right, all right. Well, I hope you figure something out, man. We'll we'll see. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can catch us on PonyFlive dot com. Links are in the show notes. Also, please subscribe to our newest endeavor, the NBA Show Review and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll get myself, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, talking about the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and also some other things that we might be interested in talking about. One of the insane things that we are talking about always, it seems that uh, we're talking about The Miraculous Ladybug. Somehow that show has sparked our interest. I got no idea how and why. And also, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com and coffee.com. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, myself, Lag, Amy, Mark, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you very much, guys. You are... You guys have been really awesome. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Twilight Genesis. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Yes Show. See ya. Cheers.